Greg, also known as Charlie Brown or CB or Utah or whatever you want to call him. It doesn't matter. We want to welcome you to Positive Christian Reason More. If you're on our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell so you get notified every time we go live. If you're on our Facebook, then hit the follow button and then give us a like. That way you get notified every time we go live. If you're new to our channel, let us know that you're new so we can give you a warm welcome. All righty. So Friday, we started making this fall wreath. And today we're going to finish it up. So I'm going to slide this over just temporarily. We'll bring it right back. And I have this sign. Y'all yeah, pick this sign. And it had that awful bow on there. So I took the bow off. And we can always trim these tails down, but I did use the rope, put a rope bow on there. Now we're going to get our sign ready to go on to our wreath. I am going to, normally I will take this off, but I'm going to leave it on there because once this sells, whoever purchases this, they may want to take this off and just hang it just like this. So that's why I'm not going to take that hanger off. Hi, Brittany, and welcome. She says I'm new, LOL. And hi, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Brittany. My daughter. Okay, so when you go to attach a sign, this is what I do. I take a Chanel stem, pipe cleaner, whichever one you prefer to call it, and I start rolling it down. Like so. Because I already know that my staples are going to be too big, and they could puncture the sign. So I'm going to show you how you do that to fix it so it doesn't do that. Okay. About halfway it's rolled. Can they see that? Yep. Okay, here is like a Dollar Tree tag. I just tore it in half. We're gonna bend it over. Bend it over. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Until we make a little tiny square like this. We're gonna put our Chanel on top of that piece of cardboard. And we're going to do one up at the top. Brittany said, did you all go outside to see the rainbow? Nope, we didn't get out there and see it. No, it's been raining horribly today. I mean, like, and that's how I attach my sign. Now, where that staple is. And then Patricia said, is it a wood sign? I had to yes. get out and come back in. Yes, it's a wood sign. And I picked this up from Michael's last year and just never got time to do anything with it and usually whatever you can find at michael's they have the same stuff every year and they may add a few more new things but yeah this came from michael's but that's how i do it and now my staples don't go through the board said, how <laughs> i know right well i've been busy all day i always stay busy so i made a pattern well let me rephrase all that let me start over. So I'm just going to put that piece of cardboard down. I'm going to put my Chanel right there on it. I'm going to use my stapler. Patricia said, I watched the jelly bean taste you all did. Hilarious. <laughs> this stuff was so gross. So nasty. Ugh. And then I'm just going to put a little bead of glue there. If you feel there's no staples on the front, it did not come through. It did not puncture that wood at all. So I'm going to let that dry. And we're going to finish up our wreath. Been busy, smishy. I've been um, getting ready for vacation. Don't tell anybody where we're going because that's a game we're playing. So if y'all haven't been on here, you may have missed a few lives. Yes, Charlie Brown and I are going on vacation. And the ones, there's a couple family members that know where we're going. So don't let it leak. But whoever is the first person that guesses where we're going on vacation gets the entire wreath kit, gets an entire wreath kit. So but next weekend we have Brittany's wedding. And then the weekend after that, we're gone on vacation. So I always tell you guys, you can use an ink pen, a pencil, use what, or you can use a dowel rod, whatever you want to roll down our Chanel stems. 
Pritchard. She said, oh, my, it grows again. And then Laura said, hi, Christy and Greg. Hi, Laura. And Brittany said, I'm tell everyone they are going to Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We're going to Costa Rica. All right. Here is, and it's probably our internet. So the pipe cleaners and the Schnells, is it freezing on our end? I haven't noticed it freeze yet, but I haven't been watching it the whole time. All right, keep seen. watching. This is just a glue stick. And as you can see, you can use a glue stick to roll them Chanel's down. How easy is that? You do not have to have anything fancy to roll down your Chanel's. This is just a simple old glue stick. Brittany said it's not freezing. Not freezing on your end? Okay. It's been raining here, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was on our end. And yes, I did most of these, but I wanted to save some to show you on the live. You can use a pen, a pencil, um, your finger, if you're talented enough, and I'm not. Patricia said, oh yeah, that is easy. Oh yeah. So now that we got that done, we're going to take our little berries. I did cut these off of the garland and I got them ready to be put into the wreath so we can get along and get this done today. 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 Charlie Brown is wound up, folks. Nope. I think he's excited about going on vacation. I'm ready to get away from work. I mean. Your boss could be watching. Probably. I'm sorry. He's not sorry getting. <laughs> So as you can see, I cut most of it down and off of there, just left a little bit of a stem. I always put the glue on the stem, never put the glue on your ribbon or your mesh. And now that we've curled all of our Chanel stems, we're going to just pop that down inside those Chanel stems and that is going to hold our little berries. See? Trish said he wants some more barf jelly beans. I sure do. <laughs> he swallowed them. That's what you're supposed to do. Eat them. Oh, no, no, no. No. Y'all, I gave the rest of those jellies, jelly beans, to our mailman, including the hot ones. And I told him, I said, when you go home tonight, play this game with the kids. I'm pretty sure we got most of the gross flavors out. I said, let me know how they did. He said, okay. The next day he came to work, or when he came to bring the mail, he said, I said, how'd they do with the jelly beans? He goes, yeah, after the fourth one, they were done. They didn't want them anymore. I started laughing. I said, they poor kids. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Mr. Ricky. He said, howdy, howdy. How is everyone doing today? Did y'all have a fantastic weekend? I've had a busy weekend. That's what I started to tell y'all. Every time we go on vacation or we leave the house for a few days, I always clean out the fridge. Everything goes pitched. Everything. Why? I mean, except for like the bottles of water, I leave those in there. But like food, it goes. Everything goes. I am not coming back to a fridge full of mold. I'm not doing it. So I thought I would get jump started on the bandwagon. Yeah, and start cleaning out the fridge. It's done. All I got to do is wipe it out now. Brittany said excited about our wedding. I'm excited too. I'm so excited. Brittany said you throw the condiments as well. I will save those unless it's mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. I toss those. Yeah. Yeah, don't get rid of my ketchup. You've got your five bottles of ketchup in there, dear. Uh -huh. Salad dressing I will keep unless it's ranch, then I toss it too. I will not leave food in the fridge. I just, nope, won't do it. Patricia said we had a busy, great weekend. Saturday drove 2.45 hours to San Antonio for my first grandson's <gasps> second birthday. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. I hope y'all had a wonderful time. You know you did because it's grandbabies. I'm telling you, girl, there ain't nothing that beats grandbabies. And he said, what? It's good forever. Mm -mm. I have OCD, girl. You know this. Toss it. And it's also a good time to check the expiration date on the 
other salad dressings. Usually I don't have to worry about expiration dates because that's the first thing he does when he pulls anything out of the fridge. He's always looking, where's the expiration date? Where's it at? Where, where can I find it? I need nothing bad. Yeah, he goes crazy looking. So I usually don't have to worry. You better quit. <laughs> Beat you. Folks, she finally did it today. <laughs> she kicked me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> you want to show him how I did it? I can. Would y'all like to see how I kick him in the head? Brittany said, you ate them jelly beans. And then Teresa said, it's been raining here all week here in our part of North Carolina. Patricia said, oh, we did. And the second one is a girl being delivered by C-section on 21st of September. Oh. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. All right. He's going to show you how I kicked him in the head today. So I've been working on a pattern. I'm in the process of making a gingerbread doll. And the first pattern I did, it was so complex. It even confused me the way I did it. And I'm like, you know what? This is stupid. So I scratched that, scrapped it, came up with a new pattern. And I like this second pattern because it's just easy. Easy to do. Anybody can use this pattern because it's that easy. So he was sitting in his chair and I said, boy, you need to be quiet for I kick you in the head. He wasn't paying attention. So I walked over there and kicked him in the head. This is how I did it. Church said, thank you. I'm so excited. Brittany said, I just come on to say hi. Going to head out. Got to get ready for work. Be careful. Love you, Brittany. This is my gingerbread pattern foot. So I went... <laughs> now I kicked you in the head. Now don't give me no more lip. How dare her. <laughs> yes, folks, that's how we are all day long. <laughs> then after I got the fridge all cleaned out, I said, get in there and uh, take the trash out. You clean the fridge out. Do your one job and take the trash out. Patricia put left in the movies. And I did my one job, so get off my back. I ain't on your back. Teresa put left in the movie. He says I couldn't do it, so I showed him I, I could do it, and I did do it. I told her, back up her words. <laughs> we are like this all the time. <laughs> it never stops. That's because of you. Not because of me. You're crazy. Not me. I'm so excited because we get to go on vacation and we're giving away red kit to whoever guesses where we're going. We will be giving pictures of different landmines or landmines. Land, land oh my god. <laughs> We've been around Charlie Brown too much today. Landmarks. Just talk then since I can't. And I'll just keep that in these berries, okay? <laughs> I'll just keep burning my fingers and adding berries. Just go ahead and talk. Tell them the details. I just got too excited because I could kick him in the head. I'll let you live the glory for a little while. Okay. Don't tear up my pattern. I'm not even, I don't even have your pattern in my hand. Okay. Yeah, well, I heard you over there fiddling with some. Oh. Your clamp? Yeah, my clamps. Then when I do woodland ruffles. So on the way to our destination, she's going to be taking pictures. If she can get service, be doing live vid videos mm -hmm. <clears throat> and just showing different things, different areas on the way to our destination. So hopefully these landmines or landmarks, whatever she wants to call them. You better quit making fun of me, folks. I'm <laughs> telling you. Well... <laughs> Give you some good hints of possibly where we'll be heading to. And then Teresa put life emojis, landmines. <laughs> landmines. I'm telling you folks, I've been putting up with Charlie Brown all day. Y'all should feel sorry for me. Just because I got to correct you. He's been wound up all day long too. He was over there messing with the neighbor. I said, he ain't right in the head. I'm sorry. 
First thing I said when I come home, walk through the door, I said, you never believe what I just thought of. <laughs> I said, I guess see if our neighbors know so I can tell her. <laughs> At first she thought he was being serious until he got to the punchline and she's like, oh my gosh, that is so funny. I'm like, don't encourage him. I have to live with that. <laughs> well, it was funny. Be truthful. He's rotten to the core, y'all. Rotten, rotten, rotten. I'm getting glue on my fingers. Just having fun. Sure. Sure. Hi, Carmen. She said, found you. Girl, you better have that, uh, better hit that, um, follow button so we get notified. And we're glad you're back. Yes. We miss you guys when you guys aren't here. We really do. So I was looking up pictures as to the area of which we will be vacationing. And I was showing Charlie, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And he's like, whoa. I think they got a snake farm where we're going. We could go visit. That's not happening. Christy doesn't do snakes. I don't know. I thought it looked like fun, but. Nah. You can go. You know one right around your head. I don't care. <laughs> I ain't doing it. <laughs> That's so nice of you to say. Just being encouraging. Uh -huh. Folks, he's wound up. Did I not get enough beads out, or did you move them? I didn't move them. You probably knocked them off on the other side of the desk. Sliding everything around. Probably. Maybe not. Why don't, don't you know. count? Because I had my house shoes on. I couldn't use my toes to count with. Uh -huh. Well, you already cut off half your toes, so you can't count I too hard. not. <laughs> Just said you all must be excited for the wedding and vacation. Yes. Yep. Yes. The next two weekends are full. Next weekend is the wedding. And vindication. I don't know. We're done with the top, so that may be enough. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, I did. It's time for a break. Yes. Get a much needed break a to get away. Be done. Just get away. Had a lot going on this month and last month. Now I'm just done. I know, right? I've been working like crazy. What? You're right. Yep. You've worked really I hard. I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Sure thing. Why you don't believe it? Thank you for taking the trash out. I want to talk about work at my job. Yeah. That could be. That could be. All righty, we got all the berries on. Woohoo! About time. I thought that was never going to happen. I mean, you're rotten. So that's what it looks like with all the berries. The, the orange or orange and then white, orange and then white just alternated them even on the outside. I thought you said they was red berries. Well, they do have some red on there, but there's orange too. And they match our sign that we're going to put on. Like I said, this sign came from Michael's last year. I'm pretty sure they probably have them this year. They usually do. They're like Hobby Lobby and they get the same thing in year after year after year. So we're going to attach our, and our glue is dried, so now we can attach it. And I'm going to push all the berries outward. Carmen put it now and says, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I want to make sure all of our berries are going outward so we can see them. Yeah, that's the whole reason why we put them on there, right? Sure, why not? 
Let me peel this glue off my fingernails. We may have told you already, but one of her local craft stores was going out of business. And she said, hey, we're right here where the store is. Let's go in there and check everything out, you know. Whatever. They're clearancing everything out. Their shelves, their um, cases where they hold, like, flowers, like their thing for flowers. They're clearancing everything. Tables. We looked inside. Letters. We were standing outside on the sidewalk. Looked through the door inside. You couldn't even move in there. There were so many people. Mm -hmm. And at some point, they close the doors and won't let nobody in there until, like, so many people come out. Then they'll let so many people in. And he's like, are you want, sure you want to go in there? I was like, no. I know I didn't want to. Mm -mm. They had some things that I really, really wanted. But, like, it's, it was a good place to go if you needed, like, a roll of ribbon, for instance. And mesh. Like a roll of mesh or something like that. And I told him, I said, we just have to start ordering again online in bulk and in quantity. But, um, which we had planned on doing that anyways. But it was just really heartbreaking because they're closing. And that was like a third generation store. And it had been there for a long time. So I'm kind of heartbroken that they're closing, but... I get it. It is what it is. and It's just the times. Yep. It's just the times that we live in now that everything is just closing up because it's just as easy for everything to close up anymore, it seems like. Because nobody wants to work. And if I was able to go back to work, I'd probably go. Over, I would have went over there and worked so I could get a discount, get all them craft supplies. At least it'd be at a discount. I know, right? Okay, I'll flip this over so we can see the back side. I'm just attaching that Chanel to the frame. There we go. All I did was wrap the top Chanel around the frame right there. I know it's hard to see because it's brown. And the bottom Chanel is Somewhere on here. Where in the heck did I wrap it? There it is. Right there. Patricia said, Reed looks gorgeous. Thank you. And Carmen said, oh no. Yep, I buy through Amazon. I can't get out of my apartment. <laughs> right? All right. The skeleton that I made with the picture frame. I'm going to tighten this bottom one up. Just a tad more. The skeleton that I made in the picture frame. It went bye-bye the next day. It was gone. It did not get a chance to get listed in Etsy. And then um, I had somebody else message me about the pink and blue fall wreath that we did with the mushrooms and the little swirly things. Yeah, it went bye-bye too. Carmen See? said it's gorgeous. Thank you. I'm going to tighten this bottom one up just a little. So they never made it to Etsy. I'm sorry. I keep saying it. Oh, this is going to go to Etsy shop. But some of the stuff doesn't make it to Etsy. And I'm sorry. Whoa. It's just a cobweb. I mean, a string glue. That got close to my face. Put your hand. It makes me kick you in the head again. Go for it. Let's chalk on it. Alrighty, now is the time where you can use a, you can make a bow if you wanted to. I'll go through and straighten up all the ribbon tails later. Because, of course, I always twist everything. We can make a small bow for it, and we can put it down here, or we can put it on this side, or we can even put it up here. Teresa, so let's make a bow. Go ahead. Sorry. Teresa said, love it. The wreath is beautiful. Love the colors. Thank you. And Patricia said, it's not going to hurt you, CB. <laughs> Nah, she's hit me before and I didn't even flinch. Whatever. <laughs> You're full of it. So I see about two longer pieces from that garland that we had. And we may put those in the bow. So let's move our wreath off. Patricia asked, where did you find the sign? 
uh, the sign came from um, Michael's and I got it last year. That's what I was saying. I got it last year, but they have them every year. They usually do anyways. Okay. Okay. This little cart here, I'm going to show you guys this. I love this little cart and I have many different ideals that I want to do with it, but I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with it. See this little tea cart? Is that not adorable? Let me just flip it over and show you how much I paid for it. I got that at Target, wasn't it? No, we haven't been to Target for a while. I wasn't with you. I got that Monday. The holiday. Oh, well, then I guess you did go, didn't you? You're not always with me when I go shopping. Oh, I feel Tracy better. Said, too cute. Is that not cute? Yeah. I have so many different ideals. I got to narrow them down. Because my mind's going, shh, and I only got one. I may go back and get another one. Just like landmines? Whatever. Leave me alone. Just asking for a friend. Landmines. <laughs> Folks, I don't know what to do with them. So we're going to use the two ribbons that we used in our wreath. And then I got this plaid one that we're going to use as well because it has the fall colors in it and then we'll finish it off with a brown for the mesh that's in the mesh that's how i do my bows and that's how i pick my ribbon out just in case y'all are wondering that's how i do it so i'm gonna start with this plaid and i think maybe patricia said that is cute thank you i think maybe let's do one of the funky bows and maybe we'll do two of them and we'll catty corner them on the reef Let's show, let's, let's do that so y'all can see how cute that is. All right, I'm going to take this cardboard out. Folks, I don't know when we're going to get into the kitchen again. It may be a while until Christy works on her cooking skills. I woke her up the other morning. <laughs> when I woke I'm her sorry, up. folks. I am not responsible for what I may say if you wake me up at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry. We'll just leave it at that. I woke her up and she goes, smell that? That smells like ASS. <laughs> I said, well, it's not me. I took a shower. <laughs> she goes, no, that's your dinner. <laughs> So well, that's what it smells like. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> OCB. I am not responsible, y'all. When I'm half asleep and you wake me up, it was a, it was a, um, pot pie soup that I made and I put it in the crock pot so I wouldn't have to stand over the pot all day long. So I put it in the crock pot. It was broccoli, carrots, you know, whatever vegetables you want in there. And it was the broccoli and I haven't cooked broccoli in a long time because we usually just eat it raw. And all of a sudden he woke me up. I guess I must have smelled the broccoli and didn't know what it was. I don't know. Laura said... Love the reading, Christy. You two are hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. Well, when I got up, I went in there and seen the crock pot out and realized there was something in it. And I went over and took the lid off and started stirring it. And I seen that broccoli in there and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> cannot be held responsible, dude. You can't wake me up in the middle of the night. Expect me to be coherent enough to say anything nice. She said it before. Her off switch is broken. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so when he came home, he, we were sitting there eating and I didn't know what I'd said. He goes, so what's this? And I said, it's pot pie soup. And he goes, you sure it's not? <laughs> I said, why would you say that? He's sitting over there laughing and giggling. Then he finally told me what I said. I was like, oh, my gosh. I said, you don't remember saying that? And he was like, no. No, I was asleep. 
<laughs> I'm just going to start recording me. Recording you. That's a show on its own. Uh huh. There's still enough here to do one more pile. I don't know. Crazy. Could, could you all actually handle seeing us like this at live? There's never a dull moment, let me tell you. And I know this is pattern and they're all running one way, but if you make one of these types of bows where it's just one loop and you alternate the loops back and forth, you don't have to worry about the patterns. So you don't have to worry about them running a certain way. Patricia asked, Christy, how's your back doing? Um, A lot better. I'll tell you what, they had the marker sets the um the controller set and i went in there which i can um i went in there and redid the settings and i turned it up and ever since i turned it up i have been great i have been more active at doing more stuff and not hurting like i was so i told him i said well when we go back and sleeping better too yeah sleeping a lot better so when i go back next month for my final checkup, hopefully they're going to mess with the settings and stuff. And they're going to see if the settings where they had it at worked, which it didn't, it was way too low. But since I moved it up, I sleep so good at nighttime. I sleep all the way through the night and I've been a lot more active. So they're going to have to adjust it and raise it permanently. Patricia said that's good. Yes. Alrighty, so we're just going to use the four ribbons on this. We're not going to make a great big, huge bow. Do you need that? Yes, I need this. Thank you, dear. I was holding on to it for you. Ah, thanks. No problem. Just trying to do my part. So ask CB if he liked the soup. Oh, and then you take biscuits and you roll them in a ball, and then you're supposed to drop them in there with the soup. I don't do that because I have OCD about things being mushy that's not supposed to be mushy. So I baked all my biscuits in the oven and the little walls. And then when the soup was done, I said, now you can dip those in there, but if you put them in there, they're going to get soggy. He just dumped them in there and ate it. Uh -uh. I just took one and dunked it. And Did you dunk it? I thought you threw them all in there. Yeah. Good. Because when you throw them all in there, they get mushy and I don't like that. I don't like mushy. But actually after the Popeye soup was done, ready to eat. It was pretty good. See? Now, if it would have been cabbage in there, I'd been like, uh-uh, don't touch it. No. And you used cream of chicken in there. And I didn't have cream of chicken. I was out. And it was the middle of the night, and I was getting ready to go to bed. CB was already in bed for work. So what I did was, and when you make it like this, you only really need one Chanel stem. Twist that bad boy. So it stays on there and then tighten down your zip tie. Patricia said I had to step away cooking. What soup did you make? And hi, Shauna. Okay. What part did you get to hear? Did you get to hear what? Uh... Hi, Shauna. It was supposed to be a pot pie soup and it's really good. And I, I usually make it in the crock pot, but I haven't made it in years just because Charlie Brown's so finicky about eating veggies. Finicky? Yeah. He's he's so picky. It's a vegetable. Oh my gosh. Whatever. So did you hear what I guess I called it during the middle of the night? What it smells like. <laughs> and it did. It smelled that way. I don't know. I was asleep. I just know when I woke up the next morning, it smelled good in the house. Oh my smelled goodness. like A-S-S. -S. Patricia said, oh, I never heard of the pot pie soup. It's really good. I promise. Um, you use cream of chicken. You put all this in your crock pot. You use cream of chicken. And then I use chicken. Or you can use whatever meat you want. But I always use chicken. Um... A package of carrots because Charlie Brown will eat cooked carrots. He does love his cooked carrots. So I put a package, a whole package of carrots in there, broccoli. Not even put a lot of broccoli in there, but I do like broccoli. Um, and Charlie Brown doesn't. 
what else went in there? You can put whatever vegetable you want. You I can do that's like all you put in there. That is actually all I did put in there. And, and I was going to put some other veggies in there, but you can put whatever you want. But if I put too many vegetables in there, he won't eat it. Whatever. You'll eat vegetable, vegetable soup, soup, but you would not eat it in the pot pie. So if she makes up with a lot of vegetables, I would rather have the frozen vegetables than the fresh or the can. I can do frozen. I've done them before. <clears throat> and then when it's done, you're supposed to take a can of biscuits and then you tear them apart and roll them in little balls. And then you're supposed to drop them down in the crock pot. Now, I'm sorry. I don't do that because I, I just, <coughs> excuse me. I have OCD about um, mushy biscuits. So I bake mine in the oven in the little round balls. And then I told him just to dip them down inside the soup and eat them that away. Shauna, Go ahead. Sean said, sorry, I've been running behind for a week. I hope y'all are doing well. We're doing good. Doing good. How are you doing? Yeah. How are you? And then Patricia said, LOL and laughed emojis. And then Carmen said, sounds tasty. It's really good. I promise. He'll eat it. I mean, I don't think, I think this was the first time I ever cooked it for him. But like when the boys was little, before him and I got married, I would fix it for them. And it's a sneaky way to get your veggies into the little ones because they like to cream a mushroom. Patricia said, oh, I like dumplings and chicken and dumplings. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to make two of these. Like I said, we're going to do them catty corner. Do you know what catty corner is? Yep. Do you? Yeah. This way and that way. Very good. Very good. I'm done with that one. We're going to use up what's left of our orange, and then we'll be out of orange, and I'll have to get more. What? You know, if I use up one roll, I get five more. Don't need five more. It doesn't matter if I need five more. I said I want five more. And I want more tractors. Go get them. All right. Go get them, Tiger. Don't forget. You told me go get them. I did. I said go get them. I will. Drop me off at the craft store so I can go shopping. I won't be able to pick you up because I'll be too busy hauling all my tractors. He's bad. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> hmm. that ain't Carmen right. said, did you make the bow maker or is it in or it's in the stores? This one I got from, um, I had went to a craft retreat a few years ago. Last year, year before that. Year before that. Year before that. And, um, Leah, that makes these, she has patented this. Um, she actually signed it for me. Can you see that? Yep. So she had showed up as a surprise guest at this retreat that I was at. And she signed it for me. And I've had it ever since then. But honestly, before I had this, I either did it by myself or, hey. You bought the bow magic or you, whatever it was. Can you grab that one over there? Nope. And honestly, it doesn't matter. This other one I got from Walmart. It was just a Walmart thing that I picked up, which I don't think they carry them in the store anymore. In our store, they don't. Unless they do and you just can't find them because everybody's a crafter now. Dabra. Around <laughs> here anyways. Yeah, the Bodabra. I was using this. And this is basically the same thing. And when was it? I think it was last week or maybe the last time I made about, I don't know. My days run together because I'm always so busy. Um, like I tried to tell, it was when we did the Friday, the bows for Fridays. I always try to tell everybody, this is called a bow maker, but... When you stop and you think about things, this actually isn't making the bow. You're the one making the bow. This is just a holder for your ribbon. 
And I think a lot of people think that they can't make a bow unless they have one of these. But I did show, I showed the cardboard trick and I did show um, where I put the two dowels into a um, piece of styrofoam. You can do it that way. All right. I got to read okay. comments. Go ahead. Patricia said, I have made dumplings with canned biscuits and cut them in fours and dropped them in. Yummy. Mm. And Shauna said, are you all close to Patoka Lake? I think that's how you spell it. I might be coming to a state park there before too long. Yes, we are. We are not that far away. And We're Patricia not? said, amen. No. So. That's where your mom's cousins. Oh, down by around. Jasper. Yeah. No, it's that way. So we're not too far. No. Not at all. So you'll have to get, when you got when you yes. go, you'll have to get a hold of us and we'll have to come over there and meet with you. Yeah. We'll do dinner or something. But that's, I, I want everybody to be so confident whenever they make a, a, um, a bow. And a lot of times they think, I can't make a bow unless I have a bow maker. You can make a bow. This actually isn't making the bow. You're the one making the bow. This is just holding the ribbon. So I think a lot of times when people grasp that concept, it really does help them. And then they start flourishing. I still can't make a bow. You still can't fluff one either. Oh, I fluff them all right. Don't ever ask Charlie Brown to fluff your bow. You're mm -hmm. just picky about how you want it done. Same. I'm just saying for a friend. It ain't happening. Well, I don't know your friend, so I don't. I know you don't. Oh, no, it's touched. I always use a zip tie. Zip ties, I will sometimes order them from Amazon. You get a great big, huge bag of them for, I cannot remember the price. And then every once in a while, we'll go to like um, Home Depot or Lowe's, and they will have a big, huge canister of them or a bag. Sometimes they're in the canister and sometimes they're in a bag and they will put them on sale very reasonable and it's cheaper to get them from there. So it just depends on wherever I'm at and where I get them from. But I always use a zip tie. And then you can either put a piece of wire or, or a Chanel stem. And today we're just going to do Chanel stems. You're just going to twist that around that zip tie. That way it doesn't come off. And then we're just going to tighten down that zip tie. Now there is a tool that you can buy that will, you put it on your, on your zip tie and it'll tighten it up and clip it all at the same time. I'm not lucky enough to have that tool. I have asked Santa for it. Santa hasn't been able to find it yet. Oh, well, there's your answer folks. My answer They used here. to have them at Harbor Freight, but yeah, they don't have them there. Check. They quit selling them there. Yeah, they don't have them anymore. So we went to Menards to look, and it's another hardware store, and they didn't have any. They were like, yeah, we know what you're talking about. We used to have them, but we don't have them anymore. Why don't you look on your Amazon? You know what? I never thought about that. I will add it to the cart. It's just called a zip tie gun. Yeah. You just want to fluff your bow. Trim your tails. Yeah, I used to go around saying, I can't make bows. And if somebody would want a wreath of mine, they would say, can you add a bow? Oh, I was going to put those berries in there. Oh, well. Oh, man. That's all right. Next time. They would say, can you put a bow on there? And I'm like, no, you really don't want a bow. And I would talk them out of wanting a bow because I couldn't do a bow. But it was <laughs> mind over. Once I said, I can make a bow because that's just holding the ribbon. I'm the one making that bow. I was able to start doing them. So... Smart thinking, Carmen. What? She said, leave Santa a note with the places to buy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Shana said, that's a pretty fall bow. Thank you. And at any time, if you guys ever have any questions, and if we're not live and you want to get a hold of us, um, call us through Facebook Messenger and we can do a video chat. I do have some of my um, viewers that do call me through video, Facebook video. You can call me anytime. No, I can't guarantee you Charlie Brown won't be acting up, but 
I don't act up. Every day. Wow. All right, folks. We probably, oh yeah, we're probably not going to be able to go live tomorrow. Um, this is doctor's appointments. Yeah, I have to get labs done in the morning to see if my um, sugar's gone down. Where else? We have to get our B12s. Yeah. Yep. I'm telling you what, B12s, are, they give you good energy. I don't feel any different after getting shot. Just because you're a weirdo. Trisha said, I can't make a bow by hand at all because I can't hold that much ribbon due to the carpal tunnel. Oh, yeah. And then Laura said, beautifully colored bow. Thank you. <coughs> all righty. Let's put our bow on there now that I smushed it again. I am getting ready to purchase a sublimation machine too, folks. So I will be making my own signs, metal signs. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot more stuff. Let's put this up. We don't need that anymore. Patricia said I use the Easy Pro by hand. Oh, yeah. See, there's so many different ones out there. Excuse me. My allergies are killing me. It's been raining all day and the wind's been blowing, so there you have it. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Miss Shirley. How are you? Oh, yeah. And if you were a recipient of one of the goodie bags, and if you craft and make something with it, please put it in our Friends of Positive Creations. I would love to see your creative minds and I want to see what y'all made with them. So I thought about a bow up here. And then a bow down here. Like that. What y'all think? Patricia said, that's awesome, Christy, making your own signs. Thank you. Um, I know products gone up and everything. I, I, I understand that. But then, yeah. So I'm just going to start making my own. So... And we'll probably put some up in Etsy shop, too. Laura said the pro by hand looks complicated to her. And then Shauna said, beautiful. Thank you. So we're going to put this on here. Yep, I like that. And we're just going to wrap this Chanel. So tomorrow, we're probably not going to be home in time to go live because I have two appointments tomorrow. And... Hopefully three. I stuck a Cheeto in my mouth the other day and went to bite down on crunch and my stupid filling came out. So I have to go get my filling put back in. Like, the one place I don't want to go is to the dentist, but I got to do it before going on vacation. Shirley said, I haven't made that one yet, but I did make a fall wreath. Oh, you have to post it. I want to see. Yeah. Anytime you guys make anything, if you want to post it in Friends of Positive Creation, you're more than welcome to, you know, share what yeah. you made with everyone. We want you to. The only thing is, is we don't deny, we we do not tell people, no, they can't post in there. It's automated. And the reason why it does that is because whenever you post in there, you got to write like, this is what I made. It has to be like 10 words. And it didn't even have to be 10 words. It'd be nine words and a period. It has to be 10 things on there before, characters. yeah, 10 characters before, it has to be like a sentence before it'll let you post. We did not have it set up that way. That's all face, Facebook's doing. And sometimes I forget to go in there and approve things and send them on through because even my posts get denied. And I'm like, what? And I'm the admin. So it, it's not us, it's Facebook's doing. And I, I've seen we're in another group that I'm in but they do it in that group too. And the one that's running that group, she said, I'm not denying anybody's post. I want to see your post. I want to see your lives. Well, I told her it's, it's not that it's Facebook that's doing it. Patricia said, I made a fall wreath for my daughter's front door. And then Laura said, I have arthritis in my hands. 
has made it difficult to do some things. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. That's why I try to make things look easy for everybody. I may have to tighten up that bow. Are we still good on time? We are at 50 10. See, I knew it would take the rest of the hour. But of course, I did laugh hysterically about your soup. Yeah. Shirley said, just post it in the group. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. We'll have to go over there and look. Yes. But I do sometimes get very busy in my life and I forget to go over there and push post through sometimes. And if I do forget, I'm sorry. But we do not reject anybody's post. I promise you we don't. We I enjoy watching you guys. I love seeing what y'all make. Okay. And yes, Shauna, if you do go to Patoka Lake, please yes. get a hold of us. We will drive over there and meet you in that. And it'd just be awesome. Yeah. And anytime we go anywhere, if we're going to be close to any of you. Look at that. There's a bow here and a bow here. Isn't that beautiful? Go ahead. We would like to be able to stop and meet with you and that. Sit down and have something to drink or get something to eat or whatever, you know, visit with you and that. And take pictures and then yeah. we'll post them on Friends of Positive Creation. And on our Facebook yeah. and, and all of our social media outlets. Because we want to try and start traveling on my vacations instead of just sticking around home. Yeah. That way we can get out to where everybody is and Never start to meeting everyone. There. Then yeah. Patricia said gorgeous. She really said fabulous. Thank you. Yeah. Um, now when we go on vacation, look, folks, this I'm telling you, we're gonna be coming to a town near you, I promise. When? I don't know, but we will be coming and it will be soon. Charlie Brown went in there the other day and he sat down and wrote like so-and-so's from Texas, so-and-so's from Colorado, so-and-so's from Virginia, so-and-so's. Yeah. He was naming off Kansas. all these states. So he went through and he mapped out our next trip. And I said, we're not going until spring of next year. And he goes, and I got it mapped out and I know what routes we're taking and I know where we're going to meet people at. And I'm like, okay. So we've already got the next road trip ready or our next vacation so he's got everything routed mapped out so yeah just i said be patient we'll be coming to see y'all every last one of you is just be patient because we're coming to see you but yeah if you're ever in indiana let us know down here in southern indiana southern indiana northern indiana as long as it ain't winter time we'll come and see you it's winter time in northern sorry i'll come see you later when it's warm <laughs> I moved south to get away from snow. Laura said, my daughter and her fiance are getting them a house so I can start crafting again. Awesome. Oh, yay. I am so happy. Yes. Then Shauna said, it might be in two or three weeks. I have some friends on Facebook known as Enjoying the Ride. They travel with their kids full time in an RV and we might be going to meet them. We're trying to see if it can happen. It might be myself and three of my kids. No? That is awesome. Yeah. I hope so. But don't forget the 24th. Yeah, 23rd. The actually. 23rd, that Friday, we're leaving. But I'm still going to come on and go live. And I'm going to show you how I got everything packed. And what I pack. Kind of. And then we're going to head out to our destination. And like I said, we're going to take pictures of road signs. We're going to take pictures of... um special landmines joking landmarks and different things so y'all can guess and whoever the first person is that um guesses where we're going on our vacation our final destination our final destination if you guys can guess where our final destination is going to be the first person you get a full wreath kit that's the wreath form mesh ribbon sign and maybe even some um, decorations to go on your wreath. Yep. Okay. Any other announcements? Uh, none that I can think of right now. All right. Like I said, tomorrow we're not coming on. I have to go get my filling put back in, go get labs done, and get my B12 so I can keep having energy to keep up with Charlie Brown. 
Okay, you need a lot of you want two shots? <laughs> I need two shots at times. <laughs> Sean said, have fun. So we are so excited. But we will be back on Friday at 6 p.m. Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Is that all the announcements? I don't know. Uh, Carmen said yes. And then Shirley said, just remember, I live near potato chips and pretzels. <laughs> Who said that? Shirley. Oh, Shirley, you're my best friend. <laughs> I think we're going to skip for this trip and go. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm so joking. Potato chips is my downfall. That's why I'm a big gal because I love my chips. I'm a chipaholic. You're not big. And pretzels. Pretzels. I love pretzels. Sean said, have a wonderful and safe week, everyone. Yes. You all too. Y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful week. And don't forget to post pictures in the group. Invite your friends to come on over to the group. It's open to everyone. All right. Much love and kindness to y'all. Y'all be blessed. And remember to always be kind. Bye, Bye everyone.